Thanks for joining us here as our Senior Men's Open a Race Highlights coming up. It's the Colorado State Cyclocross Championships. Let's grab a word with Matt Pasoka, one of our pre-race favorites. Jonathan Baker has been the, the, the thorn in your side yeah. this cross season. What can you do to beat him today? I think I just need to race smart. I mean, he's, I think, stronger than me. And, uh, you know, I waited last weekend for him to make a mistake, and he didn't make any mistakes, so I need to race smart. I was hoping for some mud. We raced here two years ago, and it was just a mud bath. Um, fortunately, we didn't get it, but um, it'll be a good power course, and uh, hopefully I feel good and coming on top. Get a chance to hear from John Baker as well. Take a look at the guys limbering up on the line. It'll be a big day of racing for this group. Very competitive season here. This whole shot has been hotly contested. Let's take a look at the front of the field here. It looks like Pasoka right there is the man in red and black already starting to gap this field. He clearly is one of our race favorites. Matt is a technical editor at Velo News Magazine. Does a great job there. And it looks like we're starting to see some of the strong men like Kirk Revsnyder of the Fort Factory team. Another guy who's found his way up in the top five there. He's got a group with him now. In pursuit of that man, this is going to be good here today. It looks like Brandon Dwight has just come through. Dwight so tough this year as he really has been splitting the wins up with Matt Pasoka for the most part. John Baker, another guy you could never discount his chances. The Vitamin Cottage strongman has some serious European experience, but so does Matt Pasoka there on the front. The Velo News rider has spent time in Belgium as well and is really technically knows as much as anyone in the sport about cyclocross. So he's got that going for him along with the big engine. Here comes the chase as we see the guys charging through. Chuck Coyle up there today, Christian McCarthy, young Alex Howes. He spent the last season racing on the road in France. Just a great young man. Howes getting ready for the state championships coming up for him as well. That's Yannick Ekman. Oh, wow. 16-year-old Yannick Ekman coming through. As we take a look, Vitamin Cottage coming together. Oh, no. Spencer Powelson who does so much good work for Imba. Looks like he might have broken his chain there as running the bike on a section where he would normally be riding. We flash forward to the front of the bike race. And we take a look at, yep, it looks like Jake Wells is still up there. That, though, the man in orange and white, boy, we saw a lot of that team kit. Boulder Cycle Sports, Brandon Dwight. Looking like he's taking up the responsibility high. You've got to love it. The young German national, Yannick Ekman, making a charge up on the inside. Colin Kerr's coming through as well. Another one of our Cliff Bar development riders. That team losing their team bus to a fire that occurred in Colorado. So kind of a tough break for the kids. Take a look at Chuck Coyle, successful living rider. One of the massive engine. There's no one in Boulder who trains more than Chuck. And Dwight looking good there, up out of the saddle. And another one of our Cliff Bar riders having a mechanical problem here. Boy, this has been a rough course. We've seen quite a few broken chains and riders coming to grief out here in the early going. This is the section where Pasoka just seems to open up the throttle now. As we're looking at the riders, I believe John Baker coming through. And yet, it looks like Baker's having some kind of a problem as well, getting a little bit stuffed up there, coming out of that turn. And it, it's been a tough season for Baker with the mechanicals. You'd hope he'd be able to shake those gremlins here for the final major race of the year in Colorado. Once again, thanks for joining us. This is the Colorado State Cyclocross Championships, and you are looking at the charge of the Light Brigade. Primus Mucci rider there looking very, very good. But this has been the story. It is Pasoka again. What? Oh, there you go. One bobble. That's what we're talking about. The sweet science of cyclocross of one bobble. And you find yourself getting past it. Now Pasoka is the hunter, not the hunted. As you go a little bit further back through the group now, you can see it's really stuck together well today. Uh, on our leaderboard there is Yannick Ekman, who we're looking at. The young German rider, Jake Wells, up there. He's a, Yannick Ekman has a deal with his dad. If he can make the lead selection, he gets a little, it's incentivized, let's say. And because when he races as a junior, his races will be 45 minutes long for the most part, sometimes even 30 minutes, it's tough for him to go this deep into the race. There's almost no point for him to have that kind of stamina. But he shows he's got the skills. But now it looks like Brandon Dwight on the gas here. Dwight has got a Jake Wells right behind Yannick Ekman, Matt Pasoka now after that bobble trying to come back. And you can expect Pasoka to stay cool here because Brandon Dwight now has got certainly a big, big engine, a charge going. 
and Vitamin Cottage starting to get some riders up there. That's good to see. They're having a fantastic race today. Okay, the hypoxia starts to set in as it looks like one of our Rio Grande riders coming to grief. John Tarkington, I believe, is who you're seeing there, the Vitamin Cottage rider, who's also the president of the ACA, the sanctioning body of this group. Now we're starting to look at the riders that are kind of coming into a second phase of this race. This is Tough Point. There's another guy we talked about earlier, Chuck Coyle, coming through with that little group. But now we're looking at the front of the bike race and it's absolutely unraveling right now. Ekman still up near the front, but you can see Baker under pressure right now. Clearly under pressure coming around that bend. He's got a little gap up to Pasoka. So as we make our way through the first third of the race, it looks like they are trying to squeeze out Ekman. We'll be back with more racing in just a moment. 